Interesting. We won't watch that now. We will go back to Hungary. So, get our wheel here in front. There we go, there's the wheel. Clamp it down. Put the keyboard up sort of like that. Uh, get rid of that window and get that one. That one looks good. Get the truck started. Take off the B right back, which was. Should be that. <laughs> then, wait a bit, and then we will be in Hungary. good. So let's go to this one. All right. And this one. All right. There we go. There we go. So we are here in Hungary. Sports fans. We're going up to here to pick up a load. And then we will uh, head around here and explore this part of the map that we apparently have not seen before. So that will be somewhat exciting. We'll see how exciting it is, really. There we go. Cargo areas are quite uh, interesting. In the Hungry map, they add, uh, they put trucks all over the place. They litter the landscape with trucks and trailers and stuff. You get into the cargo place, and there'll often be, there'll be various uh, crates and uh, forklifts and stuff. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we can go this far like this. Okay, then what? Ooh, I hate it when people do that, but it's okay when I have a trailer, so I guess I'm okay, but still. People often pull out and give you, uh, the AI will let you out. But it won't give you a decent, uh... Buffer zone. They'll often cut you off so you get a long trailer and they stop to let you out and you can't get out. And they won't let you go. Or they won't go. The only thing you can do is you can back up. And then they will eventually say, oh yeah, okay, and they'll go. Yeah, 
let's get over here. Do I need gas? No, we're good. Luckily, because we're in the wrong lane here. Stand on there, but let's get over. We possibly are out of the city enough that we could just coast along. Ooh, possibly a light. I see a bunch of taillights on. Come on now. Come on now, let's go. Jeez, do I have to push you, buddy? Now we go up here under there. I think it's a construction thing. You go under there and then you do a right hand. We go up the road and we'll hopefully get there eventually. I think we had quite a while to get to our cargo. Sunday 7.03 and our... Yeah, this one here? Yeah. 13 ton expires in 4 hours and 48 minutes. So we're good. We will be there. Nobody coming through, we're good. Ooh, speed limit. Turn here, I believe. <laughs> You're not going to drive for very long either. <laughs> um, no, I'm tired. Hey Crusher, how are you my friend? I'm here in um 
Hungary. I was looking at the Hungary map at the comments that Igor had made on it, uh, the problems that fixes and stuff. Uh, for some reason, he says you have to. You have to. I don't understand why he said you had to delete, delete all the DLCs. He, he said if you you want to have an error-free log, then you have to delete all the DLCs. And I'm certainly not. I'm not going to do that. We a pain in the ass. And then he said, "Oh, you have to have these two trailers." It's like, well, why? Oh. His uh. Mod may not be as popular as he'd hoped. Yes, what he really should have done was fix the map. Oh, Grand Utopia. I haven't done Grand Utopia in a while. I, I think there, I ran, there was bugs with that and I just got out of the ha habit. Oh. Hmm. I can't remember. I ran Grand Utopia and I can't remember what it did. I got a lot of RAM. I think I got, I don't know, three and a half feet, cup and a half, something, whatever. More than I, twice as much as I had before. So. But still, if the game is sucking it up, there's no point in that really. <laughs> so I finished my story today, another story, uh, Flash Fiction, another thousand words, that's 11,000 so far this year. Uh, this one was... About daylight savings time and somebody trying to, uh... What did we change? Why are we, what were we doing here? Daylight like savings time, and what are the consequences? You know, your buddies change, you don't change, you know, you get out of whack, you miss going to the movie or whatever. Or what happens if the time is not lost? What happens if the time leaps ahead for everybody? But you get to live that arrow. What could you do? You could rob a bank, you could kill someone. You've got a whole hour that nobody else is going to see. Oh. So, Yeah, I really like this map. The detail is, is just, you know, I've had people on my stream saying, whoa, this is nice, it's realistic. Yes. I don't know if he ever will. I don't know where he, I don't know where he's at. Like, I'm not sure where Frank is at, whether he just did this and he's done, or he's on vacation. Excuse me. Uh, you know. Took a vow of. He gave it up for Lent? I don't know. Not sure what happened. Seventy. Oh, this is me having a little nod off because I'm tired. Oh, that could be bad. I think I may uh, want to quit by midnight. Seems to work okay in 1.34. I'm in 1.34 pressure, so I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, I looked into this whole issue about having all these jobs that expire in five minutes, and I think it's something that the, from some some uh, support threads I followed. It looks like this is something when you sleep, 
When you sleep and then wake up, there's a lot of the jobs that are five minute expires. And I was not sleeping, I was jumping the clock, you know, ahead 24 hours, but I think it's the same effect, so I'm not sure you change that, so. Um, if you get out and drive, or you just sit there and wait six minutes, then all those jobs that expire in five minutes disappear. Now you got some that are like 26 minutes are now in, you know, five minutes less, 21, or if you got some 50, 15 ones that are 10 minutes, but not as much as all the fives you start out with, out with so I'd recommend that for people. Start this game off, do Sue sleeps if you want, like with the, excuse me, either the sleep or the G-set time thing, and then, uh, then when you wake up, wait uh, maybe 10 minutes, just sit here and watch the clock tick over. It's, uh, you know, it's a four to one, so 10 minutes is going to be one. Who are these people? I know, they expire real quick, but I think, uh, and, and he's, he seemed to think, Igor seemed to think that all you have to do is sleep a few times and that would help. No, every time you sleep, you come up, there's just still a bunch of jobs that ex expire real, real quick. And there were some threads saying that after you sleep, when you wake up, there's always jobs that expire in five minutes. As a feature, I don't know. I had a whole bunch of jobs at five minutes, then I, so I just left the game running for seven or eight minutes while I went and did some dishes and I came back. So 78 minutes, minutes game time and um, all the five minute games had gone. The 11 minute games right now, seven, you know, whatever, so. All good, all good, I don't have problems now. <laughs> Uh, have I tried resetting the economy? Mm. I don't know how one resets the economy. Hey, Karis, how are you? I thought you were driving for, uh, driving for Jeff tonight. Playing hooky? Might get fired? I'm hungry now, as you can tell from the detail. It's pretty cool, except for what the hell is that in the road? It was just markings. Ah, reset jobs. Oh, okay. We did a drive. Okay. Oh, I thought you were doing a drive. You've done the drive. Use that G Force Economy Reset One. Oh, falling asleep at the wheel here, as you can tell. <laughs> yes, let's watch Gramps. Okay, are we there yet? Uh, almost. So my story uh, today, I set another challenge today for the, for a week, do next Friday for my friends, the Flash Fiction Friday challenge. Uh, I figured, well, it was the Ides of March and it's going to be St. Patrick's Day soon. 
and the, my local pub, the, one of my local pubs that I was in, they had a sign, the sign on the board, the chalkboard, they had a big, they had set on it, it said alcohol, because nobody ever started a great story with a salad. Well, a friend of mine had seen me post that, and it challenged me, and I was initially saying, yeah, yeah, don't tell me what to write, but I decided to uh, challenge people this week, so write a story, a thousand words or less, uh, this starts with somebody eating a salad and I figured okay so if today is the 15th it's the Ides of March so assassination of uh, Julius Caesar so I said okay so somebody eating a salad type of salad optional but it can be a Caesar salad if you want and talk about treachery in your story and then since uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and I said, and anything Irish is optional. You know, for bonus points. So I've got an idea. I've got a pretty solid idea for my story and where it goes and what... You have to figure out what is the... Um, what is the need of your character, too? You, got, you might have a gimmick and stuff, but you've got a character. What is his need? What does he need and what is his... Okay, I just run this guy over and he'll tell me where to go. He won't. Okay, somebody else. I'll run somebody else over. They'll tell me where to pick up the cargo. Maybe somebody over here. There's somebody over here I need to run over. Uh, nope. Oh, there's that guy there. Maybe I run into him. Like, are you standing there? Do you have a walkie-talkie? If you have a walkie-talkie, I'll run into you. And you'll tell me what my cargo is. Like that? No, not you either. Oh, maybe this guy. How about you? You can tell me what my cargo is? Okay. No. How about this guy? Maybe I run into you and you tell me what the cargo is. Somebody over here? Well, I guess it's back at the entrance. There must have been something at the entrance. Maybe, uh, maybe there's a manhole or something that I missed. What I mean? Jelly bean? Oops, oops, I went the wrong way here. Oh, there's a manhole right there. Maybe that's it. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yes, 13 tons from there to there. A roll tech, 830. Okay, I'll take the job. And what is my job again? Tell me my job. Um, wait a minute. That would be a, uh... Oh yeah, there it is with the, uh... Nice little cones.
Um, and I have to go this way. Up this way, and then you crank around. I don't think this... Is this self-steering? I think it is. Yeah, look at the way the back end was skittering around there. Good. Good to know. He loves that mod with the cones and manholes. Yeah. I don't really love it, but it's implemented as part of this map, so I don't really have any choice. Oh, you guys gonna stop, are you? Okay. Well, does that mean you're gonna stop too? Possibly. The problem is when they stop that they often don't give you enough space, but... Oh, okay. I need to remember. Come on, Gramps. This is a self steering trailer. So, I mean, here we are. So, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen here. Uh, we are in the Hungary map. Again. Somebody's done a mod to it. Basically, what he's done is he's... Uh, made a couple of trailers mandatory he's put in CIP's traffic mod and he's changed the trailer and the job names to more closely reflect actual Hungarian values <coughs> it's okay nothing uh, nothing more on the map though um, I don't know what the status is whether Frank is uh, you know st st still lives Whether he's thinking of getting back to the map, whether he's left the country. But yeah, yeah, I like I like it too, Kathleen. It's uh, definitely a detail of the map. Somebody was watching my stream and they were their comment was, "Whoa, it looks realistic." Oh yeah, that's that's the point. I'm not sure why he has blue for the uh, you know blue for the uh, roadway. I don't know. I haven't seen this much blue and since I saw a maxi pad commercial. Um, what are my tar? What are my uh, job limits? Let me look at like my. Uh, Sort by cargo weight. No, the other one. The other cargo weight going down. Oh, yeah. 68 tons. These big kick-ass, ooh, drilling machines. Oh, I might do one of those. Yeah, the mar manholes are markers for job and gas. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a new map the guy's done, so he didn't say. <coughs> Excuse me. He didn't say why it was blue, but on the other hand, nobody asked why it was blue. But at my local, they had five dollar beer. Actually, not a pint. It's a um, 14 ounce sleeve, like a 473 ounce can, I guess. But it's good. It's about a 12 seater bar, so I met uh, met some people. You know, guy I knew from another bar, Roddy was there, and then the guy he was with, Steve. So he introduced me to Steve, and then. Steve's friend Clarence came along, so I met Clarence, and some other came along, we chatted, so it's a small enough place. Vinny, the owner, came out, so I chatted with it, Vinny a couple of times. And Steph, the server, and other server with really nice uh, artificial eyelashes, so... Oh, okay, so he must be using 
Okay, thanks Kathleen. So Igor must be using and bundled in bundled in with the package you gave us. Must must be the Google map mod. Okay. Because actually if you look at his map. Back up, back up. Here's his map. So he's got well, too much. But yeah, so he's got stuff which may be Google Map. All this stuff here is unattainable. It's too bad really, you know. If only uh if only um Frank would connect those pieces of road up. There's all sorts of well I'm not sure. I haven't done a go to and and landed on this and driven up here to see what it looks like. But there are there's roads and you know, he's placed stuff. Be nice to just do a go to and land here and then drive up and see if it's all actual road. And then ask, so why can't somebody connect this? Here and here. So annoying. So yeah, I finished my story today. Today's story uh, that I finished by today was um, prompted by the change to daylight savings time. So what I had, I had a guy who got a wish from a leprechaun that he could change time. And what happened when it went to daylight savings time at 1.59.59 or whatever, when the clock did not, did not click over the clock, clicked over to two but it was just for him for everybody else it froze he got to experience the whole hour between two and three and then at three or thereabouts <coughs> the clock re continued so to everybody else it was just two three like that to him he had an extra, he had that hour and he used it to rob a jewelry store <laughs> so And the wish he got was from Shameless O'Day, an Irish leprechaun. Ooh. Why are we, um... I guess we can stop like that, but still. Shit. Oh well, got damage. Bad. Couldn't get through. I guess we should have just bulldozed our way through. Chirpy bird. Chirpy bird. I know, I saw him, I just completely ignored the fact that guy turned right in front of me. It's like, really? Did you not see a truck coming through the intersection on a green light? Jeez, I may get annoyed with this uh, trip. Trailer damage, I think I've got, well, 4%, but I did it a couple of times. Ah, E.K. Cummings. Uh, E.K. Cummings. That should be all lowercase, should it not? Just saying. But thanks for dropping by, folks. 
appreciate people viewing and if you're a follower thanks for following and if you want to support me you can share me with bits or you can subscribe with your Amazon Prime or you can buy my books information on my channel there so we're exploring the Hungary map and the Hungary map is I think a one to three ratio so it takes you a while and the detail is really good even though it's been several years since this was done it's still excellent detail unfortunately the uh, the main architect Frank I think it's Frank 07 is his handle on uh, SCS forum he's uh, given this up um, I don't know whether he's got other interests or left the city or you know left the town what happened but it hasn't changed for a couple of years it's not the poet sorry let me check um, E. E. Cummings. E. E. Cummings wrote all his poetry in lowercase. I just thought that would be cool if you did yours in lowercase too. And he signed his name too, E. E. Cummings in lowercase, so. Um, and I'm not a big fan of poetry, so I'm not sure whether it was, a, you know, especially great or especially bad. It was, you know, good poetry. It's sort of in the middle, you know, good to very good range, you know, if you're adjusting the flame on the stove. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm a writer. Cummings. We think of these things. Oh, there's a canal on the right. That's nice. There's a sign telling me something. I don't know what it is. Uh, so, I mean, it's three minutes to the hour. So it's, um, or it's one to three. So I think 60 minutes of the game takes 20 minutes in real time. So we've got uh, 120 minutes of the game. So it'll probably be 40 minutes driving before we get there. The signs they have up here too. Yes. This he got discovered. Okay. And welcome to Visigrad. Trying to speed up. I probably don't have to because I'm limit is 50 now. Thank you for visiting whatever you just visited. I think.
You have to go to the next uh, the next place that looks like you can pull off there, and I will simulate pulling off because uh, I'm tired. I was a uh, long day. Did my writing today set another challenge. Went to my local, had a few beer. Okay, came home, cooked uh, one of those good food meals. That was, you know, work. Got a glass of wine. That's it. We're done. I'll stop up here. It's a uh, One of those border things. Uh, maybe I won't. It's not really a stop. But up here in town. up here. It's only 802. I won't rest the truck. I'll just physically rest myself. Because I'm tired now. Okay, well... Thanks for playing, uh, trucker. Um, thanks for viewing. Uh, thanks for following. Thanks for whatever you did. I'll, uh, I just gotta go to bed. It's after midnight here. It's 12.15. Uh, it's been a long, been a long day. Oh, sure you mean. But I did have ideas. I did take some notes and stuff. Did some uh, observing of people at my small new new local place nearby, and then did some writing too. So I've got a good outline for the story that's not due till noon next Friday. So that's good. I'll work on that more tomorrow. Still, so, ta-ta, people.